If you've got a coffee machine or any other appliance for that matter that you don't want anyone else using, you can install a keypad so that it only works when the right code is entered. I did it to this coffee machine and in this video I'll show you how I did it. I started by taking the main control board out and locating where I could take power from to power an Arduino Nano. I found this voltage regulator which I could tap off and I traced the zero volt connection to an empty point on the board which I could use. On the other side of the board the middle push button is the one which is pressed to start the coffee flowing. I wanted to interrupt the signal with a relay. The relay is controlled by this Arduino Nano. You'll notice I soldered eight of the pins upright instead of downwards. This is so I could plug the keypad directly onto the pins of the Arduino. I started to assemble the components onto a piece of perfboard ready to be soldered. Then I started to solder everything in place. I used a red and green LED to display to the user what the status of the keypad is. I had to place these on the back of the board so that they could be seen when the board was mounted inside the coffee machine. I'll come back to how I did that shortly. I took a couple of twisted pairs from a multi-core cable I had to power the Arduino and to connect the relay to the push button. I routed these through a hole in the perf board to give some strain relief on the solder connections. I removed the solder from two of the pins on the start switch. The relay had to connect in series with this switch. You can see here the pins are just lifted about a millimetre off the board. As these pins keep the switch in place, I stuck it down with some super glue or CA glue to stop it coming loose in the future. The two pins I disconnected both made the same connection to the other two pins on the switch. So to put this switch in series with the relay, I had to cut off one of these pins so I was clear to connect one side of the relay to the circuit board. I ground this back with a rotary tool so it was completely clear. And on the other side I connected the relay to the pin on the switch. I put a square of insulating and tape over the circuit board here so the pin couldn't touch the board. Unfortunately my camera had stopped recording when I was connecting the blue wires to the switch. But at this point, I was soldering onto the 12 volt side of the onboard voltage regulator. I then routed these cables through an unused slot on the board for some more strain relief. I drilled some holes in the board. This was so I could use some supports to mount the board on when it was installed inside the coffee machine. I didn't really like the idea of all these components being exposed inside a machine that pumps water through it, so I covered all the connections with a generous layer of hot glue. This also helped to keep all the tap-offs on the main circuit board in place. Next up, I measured out where the keypad will be installed on the side of the panel that I removed from the coffee machine earlier. I needed to cut a slot for the ribbon cable of the keypad to pass through, so I used a straight edge and a rotary tool to cut this out. The Arduino Nano is going to be mounted behind the keypad so the ribbon cable can plug straight into the board. Then I measured and drilled a hole where the LEDs will shine through. To combine the red and green LED I used an acrylic rod to carry the light through. I wanted the internal face of this to be as clear as possible to carry the light with little degradation so I used wet and dry sandpaper starting at 400 grit and a dab of water and I worked up to 1200 grit to get a smooth finish on this end of the rod. At this point the end of the rod was smooth but not shiny and I'd normally use something like a metal polish to get that final shine but I was on a time budget and at this point it was about midnight so I experimented buffing the end up on, a, on an envelope of some junk mail just with a little bit of water. I had to keep it moving as the paper started to tear quite easily, but it worked quite well for what I needed. 
So then I cut the end off to the right size and started polishing the other end. As the rod was only about 5mm at this point, it was easier to drill a hole in some scrap wood to hold it in place whilst I sanded the other end. I didn't want this end of the rod as shiny as I wanted it to diffuse the light from the LEDs so I gave it a once over with 400 grit sandpaper and that was good enough. You'll see here I've got the shiny internal side and the not so shiny external side. After finishing the rod I started to rough up the inside surface of the coffee machine side panel so I could glue some circuit board supports in place. Typically with this type of support you're meant to drill a hole in the plate and then push them through but I didn't want to see the back of the support on the outside of the machine so I marked up where they needed to go and stuck them in place with some two part epoxy. Once these were dry, I had to grind off a little bit of material from around the hole so that the acrylic rod would push into place easily. And then once it was in, I dabbed a little bit of CA glue or super glue around it to keep it in place. And I was quite pleased with the finished result. And then it was time to start assembling everything, so I positioned the keypad peeled the backing off the adhesive and lined it up. One last measure to make sure it's straight and then I stuck it down. I positioned the board on the supports and that clips into place nicely. You can see here the green and red lined up with the acrylic rods and that means they're ready to shine through to the outside of the machine. I plugged the keypad onto the upright pins of the Arduino and it was ready to be installed back in the coffee machine. I didn't manage to capture it on film when I was taking it out, but putting it back in was really fiddly to get it back into place. But luckily the connectors were all colour coded so it was quite easy to see where everything had to go. At this point the LED and the keypad were working great but it wasn't actually operating the coffee machine and I found that the issue was that I'd put too much hot glue around the surface mount switch that I'd cut the pins off earlier and that was stopping the button on the outside of the machine from actually pressing the surface mount switch in. So I cut the excess glue off the switch and tried again. And I was super excited when it eventually worked on the next attempt. So at this point I just want to show you a function that I programmed into the software. As you need a four digit pin to activate the relay to make the coffee machine work, I didn't want this to be hard coded. Essentially I didn't want to have to plug in a laptop every time I wanted to change the code to the, to the keypad. So it has a change password sequence. Um, you just key in D1D1 to enter the function, enter the old passcode and then enter the new one. And the good thing is the passcode is actually saved in the Arduino's EEPROM. So that means that it doesn't actually lose it every time that is powered down. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment and let me know if you did. I'll be uploading a lot more in the future. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.